Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. And um, I am going to today, in this video, go through paper two of the new specimen, uh, the new 2020 syllabus for the International GCSE, University of Cambridge IGCSE. So I'm going to start with the paper two, and I'm going to start with the specimen paper. This is like um, the syllabus changed quite drastically. Uh, for the first exam in June 2020, which was cancelled due to COVID. But from then onwards, well, the new syllabus is um, quite significantly different in, some ca in, in many topics. So um, I'm going to go through the specimen paper of paper two, and I'm going to go through this paper um, one question at a time, making one video for one question. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to compile um, um, you know, a topic by topic playlist um, of your questions that I've gone through so people who have need help in a particular topic will find all the questions on that topic in one place. Um, I'm also going to make another playlist which will be just for this paper. So somebody who wants to go through the whole paper question by question can do that using the playlist and if they play all it will go through each video one at, one at a time and if they have a problem in a particular question they can go and choose the question that they actually want. So that's the reason why I'm going to do this, um, you know, one by one. Okay, so now a few points to notice. It's an exam of one and a half hours, and it's worth 70 marks. And you must answer all uh, the questions on the paper. Um, it says use black or dark blue and HB pencil for diagrams. So always use a pencil for diagrams. It's very important because sometimes you have a, a graph to draw, shading to do. Um, and if you mess it up with a pen, it's very difficult to undo it. So always, whenever you have to draw any diagram, use a pencil. But for the working, you must use a pen, black or dark blue. It should be dark because they do scan in these um, papers and get them marked remotely. Okay, don't forget to write your name and center, uh, center number and candidate number, of course. And use the answer, write the answer in the space. The answer space provided show you're working in the space above it. But the final answer should be in the space provided. Do not use erasable pens or correction fluid, sometimes you put your white out and you're going to come back to write the answer over it and you forget just something's wrong, cross it out and write it again clearly. Don't write on the barcodes because they need that to scan in the paper. Okay, you should use a calculator where appropriate. You should show all necessary working clearly so that if you make um, a mistake somewhere, if your working is clear, you can get method marks. Um, Non-exact answers, numerical answers, correct to three significant figures. So if the answer is not exact, give it to 3SF or one decimal place for angles in degrees unless a different level of accuracy is specified in the question. So always give your answer to 3SF if the answer is not exact, unless it's an angle. And we'll go through the other exceptions as well. And so on. And for pi, use your calculated value or 3.142. Don't use 3.14. Either use 3.142 or even better, your calculator value. But we're going to go through that in more detail. So let's just get started with question number one. Question number one, a train leaves Zurich at 22.40 and arrives in Vienna at 7.32 the next day. Work out the time that the train takes. Okay, so now, a question like this, you've got 24 hour clock. Probably the easiest way to do it is to work out the time between 22.40 and midnight, which is 2400 hours, which if you're not sure how to do that in your head, no problem. I'll show you a little method that you can use for any question like this. So you have 20, 2400 hours minus 2240. Um, that will tell you the number of hours between 2240 and midnight. Now this is like the hours column, this is like the minutes column. If you subtract these, um, you can't say, you can't do 40 taken away from zero, but what you do is you borrow one hour from here, so that becomes 23 hours, and you put one hour in the minutes column. Now, when you put one hour in the minutes column, you don't write one, because one hour is not one minute, it's 60 minutes, so you write 60 in the minutes column. So you take one hour from here and made it 60 minutes on the minutes column. 40 minus 60 is 20, 23 minus 22 is uh, one, so that's one hour and 20 minutes between 22.40 and midnight. So you've got 22.40 to midnight, which is 2,400 hours. And then you got from 2,400 hours, which you can consider as 0, 0, 0, 0, up to 7.32. So now we've got to basically add 7. We found out the time between there and there, which is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Now we've got to add to it 7 hours and 32 minutes. So you have 1, 20 plus 7, 32. Okay, so that's going to give you 
52 and 8. So there's 8 hours and 52 minutes between those two times. So that's question number one. Um, and as I said, I'm going to do question number two on another video. Should be the next one in the playlist when the playlist is compiled. Thank you for watching.